Okay, so this question doesn't have any amounts in it. What you could do is put an amount in it. So we could pretend that there's 100 uh, people in the uh, town and then see how long it takes for us to be beneath uh, 43 people. That's absolutely fine method. I'm going to be doing this with multipliers though. So it says it's decreasing by 8.1%. So let's work that out as a multiplier. So we always start off with 100%. We're taking away 8.1% because it's decreasing. So we can do that on the calculator or in our head. Hopefully the answer is 91.9%. And then we need that as a, mul as a multiplier. So 91.9% divide it by 100 to get it as a multiplier. And we get 0 0.919. Okay, so this is our multiplier. Whenever we time something by this number, we're decreasing it by 8.1%. Now, what I'm, we're going to do is we're going to use our calculators to work out how long it takes for that to go beneath 43%. So, we're going to start off by um, typing in 0.919 on the calculator, but then pressing equals, and that stores it in the calculator, and that would be one year. We're going to times it by 0.919 again, which would give us the second year and press equals and because we've done it that way if I then press equals again it will give me the third year now at the moment it's 0.84 so it's nowhere near that so I'm going to press equals again that's the third year 0.77 so not there yet press it again 0.71 again 0.65 again 0.6 so we're getting close again 0.55 Again, 0.50, again, 46, so we're getting very close, and one more time, hopefully, and 0.429, okay. So it's taken 10 years. Now, to show that, uh, show the examiner that, I might do 0 0.919 to the power of 9, to show it's not enough, and then 0 0.919 to the power of 10. So 0 0.919 to the power of 9, that wasn't enough, 0 0.467, blah, 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 0 0.919 to the power of 10, and I show that that is enough, 0 0.296, blah, blah, blah. So it's going to take 10 years.